from dusk, welcome to Realm of the Sacred Roots. I wanted to talk today about a topic that's been on my mind for a little while now, and it has to do with people coming on my YouTube channel, which is new, and making comments about me being a witch and um, that I'm soulless and some other derogatory terms about um, about me, I guess, because of the content that I'm putting out. What I find interesting about these people who um, are really hypocritical and say things that are contrary to what they supposedly believe um, is that they don't see their own um, their own issues. So, uh, you know, there are these, I call them radicals, they're radical people. People, I just saw this video actually of this lady who was in Walmart and she was telling everyone that they needed to repent and she was screaming and cussing at everyone, F you and, and screw you and you're a B and she was just going off on everybody and then the manager would come up and try to calm her down and she'd cuss him out and she was cussing out a... um a uh, customer and then someone else came up and tried until they had to call the police uh, for her and, and and actually handcuff her to arrest her because she was causing such a disturbance in Walmart. But she's telling everyone they're going to burn in hell. She starts screaming at everyone and she's cussing everyone out at the top of their her lungs and calling them all sorts of names. Um, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I wonder why people think that others are going to listen to and accept what your beliefs are when you act like a mad person. People writing in on my channel telling me that I'm a witch and saying all of these like really mean things. Like, how do you expect somebody to either change their ways, to turn around, um, to follow your path when you're screaming and you're cussing at them and you're acting inappropriate and completely disrespectful. Like, what God do you serve? Because I would probably want nothing to do with that God if that's who you're claiming. Because you look like complete idiots and you're completely disrespectful to the people that you're addressing. So... I just had to do a rant about that for a second because I wanted to know these people who are out there, uh, I wanted to know like, what are you thinking as you're going off and telling people about themselves? What do you think about yourself? How do you think you sound? And how do you think you're being received by yelling at people, telling them to repent uh, or they're going to burn in hell? And it's interesting, I know someone that does that. They go on a bus and they wait till the bus takes off. So they're basically trapped on the bus with this person who's trying to pass out tracks and basically telling everyone the same thing, fire and brimstone, and that you need to repent. What the hell? So now everyone's trapped on this bus while this person's walking up and down the aisle preaching at everybody. What if I don't wanna hear your message? right? What if I don't really give a fuck? I'm just trying to go to work. I'm just trying to go to school. These people are just trying to live their lives and you're infringing on their private space. Leave these people alone. So I, um, I'm really trying to understand the mentality of these people who are judging others who trap people and try to scream at them to repent and um, the people who leave comments who are so rude but expect you to follow what they believe and this is their way. I was told the best way to have someone either convert or perhaps take up what you believe is by showing them by the way you live, by your lifestyle, but by how you speak, how you live. Who would want to follow someone that's erratic and cussing people out and has such negative energy and they're pointing fingers at people and they have no right? They have no right because if you're cussing and carrying on and you're complaining that I'm talking about demons, what do you think you're attracting by all that negative energy, by all that cussing people out? What do you think is around you? What do you think is in your spirit? 
all that darkness. So people don't know me. People just judge me by a video or two. You don't know my entire story. You don't know my walk. And it's sad when people just judge someone without actually knowing anything about them. It's actually the person who's attacking the other person that has something to work on that is offended because they find some inadequacy within themselves after they watch a video or a clip and they realize, wow, I'm stuck in this religious stronghold. I'm stuck under this mind control and brainwashing that I've been taught since I've been little. And that's the problem. And they realize this, you know, there's nothing like freedom and the freedom to choose what you want to believe in. So realize why you're lashing out at people who have different views than you. Why are you so offended that I have my own beliefs? I believe in God and I believe in the devil. And I speak to God and I have spirits that I work with. This is my belief in nature and with animals. And if you don't believe that, guess what? It's okay. I'm okay with that. I can still have an adult conversation with you and not cuss you out or judge you for what you believe. And I wonder why more people aren't mature enough to understand that. And they have this inadequacy or this hole within themselves where they see what you present and they realize they don't have it within themselves. You have to seek deeper and find out why you're so upset. Why are you so offended by someone talking about these things? It's way deeper than the person works with demons and you don't want, and, and you think they're a Satanist or you think they're a devil worshiper. It's a lot deeper than that because some of the comments um, that I've seen wouldn't, um, wouldn't be left with that much hate, spewing that much um, energy, negative energy towards somebody. So try to open your mind a little. Try not to be so judgmental. Stop spewing hate. It's only making within yourself a darker hole, a blacker hole, more negativity. And you're only drawing to yourself the spirits that you're accusing me of um of working with it, you're only drawing negativity to yourself I, I so i i wanted to mention that and um i'm gonna make this a part one because i have a feeling part two is coming because i'm not done yet um with you with you guys i'm not because i feel like this is a message that i have to put out and that way when i have someone else leaving a negative message I can point them to this video and um, hopefully they'll learn something about themselves with within themselves. I'm also guessing these people probably have not had um, any type of counseling or any type of therapy that makes them reflective and look within themselves. And if they have, they haven't had enough therapy, right? That where you can be introspective and look within yourself and see um, exactly where that gap is, where that hole is and what needs to fill it. Because spewing hate and evil at people, that's not the way to go. I don't care what religion you are. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what you believe. It's just completely dark and um, it brings down your defenses. So anyways, keeping on a positive note, I'm actually uh, just a quick update. I'm redoing my room here for you guys. So I um, will have a better background hopefully soon and um, I'll keep you updated with where I'm at on that. So thank you for watching and um, I'm gonna make this a part one because I have a part two coming. I just have a feeling about that. Uh, and um, this is definitely more of a positive dusk. Um, if you knew me uh, a, a couple years ago, you would have definitely seen a darker side of me that you would not want to see. So for those people accusing me of being 
um, you know, this darker entity, trust me, this is definitely more of a Zen, uh, a Zen me and, um, more peaceful me. So anyways, I hope you all have a good morning, evening, night, wherever you're at. And I will be posting more videos soon. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll keep putting out more videos and you'll get, be the first to get them. Thank you again.